Okay, one of the questions that keeps getting asked on uh, quite a few occasions now is how is the dog coping? Uh, he's done not too bad actually, he's been pretty good. In fact, I think he's done a lot better than what I thought he was going to be. Uh, I thought he was going to be crying all the time because generally when we move house, he, he whimpers and don't like it, you know. But it's an upsetting time even for humans, so it must be the same for dogs. Uh, on this occasion, he's been pretty damn good. Um, so at the minute, oh, just taking him around the field by the way at the minute, I think you see him there. There he is. Uh, just taking him across this field, around this field. Um, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be on here actually. <laughs> Somebody did tell me on the site that they don't mind you walking around as long as you don't make a mess or anything. So, wait, stop eating the grass. He keeps, he keeps eating the grass. He'll be sick in a minute, dummy. But yeah, he's uh, he's been uh, really good. And I mean, one of the things, um, of course, is in a motorhome, they're various sizes, aren't they? And, and ours is a 7.4 meter, which sounds long, a big one. It ain't as big as some of the others, yeah? Nowhere near. And it's not a small one, it ain't a big one. It's medium size, I'd call it, really. Um, but it, it, on the inside, there isn't a great deal of room, you know, to walk around inside. I mean, it's a bit of room, you know, it's, it's better than a lot of them. And not so good as some of the bigger ones. So for a big dog like him, yeah, it can be a bit of a, you know, nuisance for him, I suppose, at times. But it's surprising how he's managed to figure out how to turn around in a small space. <laughs> he's done that quite well lately. Um, so I'm really pleased about that. And he, he's not been crying or anything like that. So, so he's been pretty good. Um, he has his odd moments where he's getting a bit frustrated because he, he likes to get out, you know. And I do take him out every day, two or three times a day I'm taking him out. Uh, especially now we're stuck on this damn campsite at the minute, which is very, very frustrating. Uh, you all right, take your mate? Hey, Charles? Yeah, he's, he's not bothered, look, he, he enjoys himself no matter where he is. But I'm dying to get out, like I said before, dying to get out there on the road and we can stop at some amazing places and I'm hoping to be able to take him to the beach again along the coast so of course we'll be doing that obviously some be some great footage coming up so uh yeah be able to see that you see him he's, he's eating again look oi what are you doing what are you doing he's always doing this he's always eating the grass come on come on this way but yeah, so, uh, yeah, he's all right, he's all right, he's perfectly fine, he's eating well, he's normal. So, quite pleased myself. If he wasn't, it would be a bit of a concern, but we are not at all concerned, not at all. The only concern is just keeping him active, like taking him out every day like normal. Um, he can't just sit in the, the motorhome all day long, that would be terrible. It'd drive him nuts, it'd drive me nuts, but... Uh, it would definitely drive him nuts being a border collie. So, uh, so yeah, yeah, he's okay. So please, do not worry about the dog. Uh, don't not worry about any of us. <laughs> We're perfectly fine. Um, we're just waiting to get sorted so we can uh, get on the road and he can go to uh, some different places and stop eating the grass around these fields. So that's it for today, uh, just a quick one, just to let you know that he's okay, don't worry, dog is fine. So I'll see you later, ta-da for now.